if government and politician gets, they can stop looting, best to start with. And I mean, let, 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 let me take you back to that Tokyo expose right now. Um, whether it's true or not, but I think there's no smoke without fire. So what needs to be done is that politicians need to start accounting, needs to, to start taking consideration of everything that they do. You know, I'm sitting here feeling that the ruling party or government, they don't care about it. Hence, every electioneering, they'll go door to door with food parcels and t-shirts and all and all. That is to buy votes. Okay, vote for us, guys. Pre-1994, there was a slogan, uh, what they say, um, better life for all. We haven't seen better life for all. Instead, we have mushrooming. Um, informal settlements are mushrooming left, right, and center. Why is that? We talk about land. Where's the land? Why are people we sitting with that land which is producing today? You know, this is, nothing's happening. You know, but what needs to be done is polit for politicians or government and the leaders to really take our people serious. South Africans as a whole are not free because we cannot talk about freedom if we're not economically free. You know, um, you, you, you look at what's happening right now, the state capture, commission of inquiry and all that, and then, but when we encompass Freedom Day and what it means in its entirety, looking at the days and the lives that um, young people live today, that it's, we're not liberated, there's no freedom at all. I think, I would like to think that freedom was just a PR to us, that was sold to us. But reality, we see. I mean, states they say releases statistics every quarter of the year, whereby they'll tell you that unemployment is skyrocketing. So we cannot. I personally don't feel that um, enjoying the freedom that was supposed to be there. That was just sold. That was just a PR that was sold.